In today's class, we learned about the value of a ratio. So I, these two problems will help you understand value better and hopefully reteach what I taught in class today. Use the value of the ratio 6 to 20 to circle which of the ratios are equivalent to it. The value of a ratio is really the quotient of it, the first part divided by the second part, or it's really the value is the ratio as a fraction in its simplest form. 6 and 20 are both even numbers, so we know they're divisible by 2. And that gets us simplified to 3 over 10. And 3 and 10 are no longer divisible by the same number anymore. The value of the ratio 6 to 20 is 3 tenths. Okay. So I go back to my list, 3 tenths is in it. So I'm going to circle it. It's equivalent. Those two ratios are equivalent. Now I have 12 24ths. I'm going to take my value, 3 tenths, and I'm going to set it equal to 12 24ths to see if they have the same value, if they're equivalent. 3 times 4 gives me 12, and whatever I do the top of a ratio, I must do to the bottom. So no, these are not, these are not um, equivalent. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing and see. 3 tenths, I'm going to set it equal to 54 over 180. I'm not really sure, you might not be sure what off the top of your head um, 3 times uh, something gives you 54, but I can see this one clear as day. 10 times 8 is 8, 100. 10 times 18 is 180. So I'm going to try to do that to the top and see if it equals 54. 18 times 3 is 54. Okay, so this also is equivalent using the value or a fraction in its simplest form. The second example that might help you today, your middle school has 700 students. One fourth of the students get a ride to school every day. What is the value of the number of students who get a ride to school to those that do not? Okay, one fourth. I'm gonna set up that fraction and I'm gonna label it. One fourth of the students get a ride. So the numerator is how many students get a ride, okay? The denominator is your total students at your school, okay? So I'm gonna set it equal to 700 students. I'm going to pop up my calculator. I'm going to divide 700 by 4. 4 times 175 gives you 700. So whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So for every 700 students at the school, 175 get a ride. I don't know if that's answered the question that's being asked, so I'm going to go back. What is the value of the number of students who get a ride to school to those that do not? Well, the value, or the ratio as a fraction, is 175 students who get a ride. Well, I'm going to take 700 and subtract 175 from it. And I get 525. This is not a value that do not get a ride to school. This is a fraction. We have to make sure it's simplified. I'm going to divide them both by 25. Okay, 175 divided by 25 is... 7. I'm going to write it up here. And 525 divided by 25 is 21. This still is not my value. Okay, that can be simplified more. 7 and 21 are both uh, divisible by 7. So that gets me down to 1 third. And that really could have been done a lot simpler if we just thought about it. And it makes sense. For every one student that gets a ride, there's three students that do not get a ride for a total of four.